Good afternoon and welcome to Hairdressing Live. What a privilege it is to be sat next to two of the industry icons, multi-award winning hairdressers, Andy Heesman and Tina Farre. My God, thank you very much for today, guys. Pleasure. It's, thank you, Paul. It's, it's such a privilege to be in the Rush Studios in London. Um, the guys have just presented their live masterclasses. We don't usually do this after hours, so oh. I'm sure they're exhausted and they want to go home. <laughs> I know that we, we need to pack up and go, but um, basically I, I, it's, it's great to have this opportunity to chat to you anyway. Uh, a little bit about you guys. Um, so, I mean, can you just tell our, our viewers, our audience, a little bit about yourselves, a bit of, a bit of framework about your careers and everything? Yeah. If you want to go first, Andy, and then yourself yeah, sure. afterwards, Tina. I've been hairdressing for 30 years. Uh, my background, I've started in London. I've worked now for Rush for near on, near on 19 years. 19 years. 19 okay. years. So I've 30 years in the game and 19 years with Rush. Um, I'm more of a precisional cutter. Um, I run the International Creative Director for Rush. So I look after the team, mm -hmm. kind of make sure that we're all kind of operating on all levels and make sure the function's right. Um, yeah, really great. Still loving the game, still, uh, still, the game. still enjoying it, still pushing it, yeah. Very it's good amazing. indeed. Um, your role, tell us a little bit about your role. What's, what does that entail here? Because you're, you're international creative director, right? Yeah, so I do, I do a lot of travelling. I do a lot of travelling, uh, you know, representing the brand abroad. Okay, um, you looking, do a lot of platform work? Yeah, a lot, lot, of, pla lot of platform work, a lot of, you know, travelling, mm -hmm. educating abroad. Okay. Um, and obviously I work at the academy four days a week when I'm in England, you know, when I'm here. Okay. So I'll be working with external and internal students. So we, we look after our bartering program here. We look after um, external students on all levels, you know, everything from bespoke to uh, beginning to intermediate to advanced. Okay. So everything's run so out of this. External. Everything's and you run do out of all here. your internal education yes. as well. And you're yes. responsible for that as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm responsible along with the team. I mean, we break it into three departments. I mean, team is responsible for session editorial, yeah. you know, and, and you know, looking after people that style hair, mm -hmm. if you like. She's also a fantastic haircutter. I won't take that away from her. Um, we have Chris Chris Williams who looks after our colour department. Yeah. Um, so he looks after everything to do with colour. You know, so I lean on him for that. And everything to do with cutting education and working the, the foundations, if you like, and the cutting programs is pretty much down to me. Very good, very good. Tell us a little bit about what your position is. Mm. In, in uh, well, my audience. position here is, um, as I mentioned earlier on in, in the thing, I started hairdressing uh, in the 80s as well. Um, joint Rush in 1995, so I've been uh, with Rush for 22 years now, okay, which is mental. And then uh, work, just worked my way up, and then um, I, I landed my position with Rush as editorial yeah. director. Um, so, so really, my my job role here is is to, alongside with Andy and Chris, I educate at the, at the academy, mm -hmm. um, doing editorial and f uh, foundation courses. Um, I also cut hair as well and do a bit of colouring. I do one day in the salon and the rest of the week I work uh, here at the academy and again like Andy I work um, internationally as well so I, I work overseas and education. education as well. Got a platform work. Okay, cool. Do you do salon work as well Andy? Uh, one day I've, got, I've actually got a franchise, I've actually got okay. a franchise and it's wow. in uh, Victoria. In Victoria? Yeah, so I, I, I go there Saturdays. Work on the floor. Okay, yeah. very good indeed. And you work in, where do you work? In? I work in uh, our, our, sal our salon in um, East Croydon. In East Croydon? Yes. Okay, so you still got, uh, you, you still work in there, you still put your hands in, in yeah, the salon. Yeah, I think that's important though, yeah, I yeah, think it's I important. Do, yeah. it keeps you grounded. Yeah, obviously. it yeah. keeps you grounded and, and also, you know, it keeps you in tune with, 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 with hairdressers that you're teaching. Yeah. You know, you yeah. respect what they do more. Yeah. You know, I think... You can, relate, you can relate, relate to them. them. You can relate yeah. to them a lot more because I think, you know, there's a, you know, a lot of people who work in academies, they're given like two hours to do a demo and they talk and everything else. But I, again, I think we're, we're constantly in the salon, we're always un under speed, we've got you know, a limited amount of time. So I think keeping your hands into that is really important when you're educating as well, because you, you kind of, you're, you're living it as well, which I yeah. think is really important. Do you know, um, for me, I mean, we spent the whole day in here, from the minute I walked in, I was like, wow, this is, and cool surroundings. It's very, I mean, it, it's, yeah, it's amazing. Right. It's, so, it's like inspirational. You know, when you yeah. walk in, it's a nice, cool sort of environment yeah. to work within. Um, I'd say a lot of inspiration happens within here, which is a good thing. I see a lot of uh, your um, your uh, salon um, teams um, all have come down here for their education. They have today, yeah. So, um, and you, you do that most of the time in here. Do you? Well, yeah, we, we've got we've got different units as well. You know, so we. Uh, the, when we've got external students in, sometimes the Vardarin is moved. Okay. You know, so 
Vardering's put in a small area. We have Vardering students in, in here. We, we do it when we can. Sometimes we're too busy, but yeah, they're here sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> you know what, guys? Uh, you are, I mean, along with your team, um, are responsible for some of the most iconic images within the hair industry. I've always admired your work. I've seen Thank your you. work um, in you. the industry. You've won multiple awards. I mean, what do awards mean to Rush as a team, and individually, actually, um, for, for yourselves? Because it's nice to have a slap on the back by your industry um, sort of, you know, icons or your, your sort of um, your muses within the industry. Um, but ultimately, I mean, why do you, uh, you keep striving to enter the awards and get acknowledgement? Because you keep winning the awards as well. You've won many awards. Yeah. Tell us a little about it, because you've just done the fellowship and you won the, the London hairdresser? The uh, uh, not, not London, we just won the uh, Art Artistic Team of the Year. Oh, that's right, yeah. sorry. Artistic that's okay. Team of the year. Yeah. It's, I mean, what, what, what awards mean to I mean, why do we enter them? I think, from my perspective, I think it's just really important to, to put yourself on that level and push yourself, you know. You know, for us, you know, as an artistic team, we're kind of trying to create and drive a lot of people behind us. Yeah. You know, it's about motivating our staff. It's about creating collections that we're going to pass through. It's about motivating our people as much as the industry. Yeah. You know, and entering into a new world is a bonus. Obviously, you know, it allows that platform that gets seen more. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're, we're ultimately creating collections for our people um, and, you know, fashion. We are at fashion, we're in the hair, in hair industry and it's ever evolving. Yeah. Ever evolving. And that's the beauty of our industry, as far as I'm concerned, is the fact that it's ever changing, ever evolving, and ever moving. And what we love about our job and what we love about entering awards is the fact that you can drive and push that level, push it forward, and hopefully come up with something that's, people are going to say, you know what, they did it a season too early, yeah. or they did it, you know, those guys were doing it two years ago. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's for us, I mean, I don't know about you two, it's amazing when you get that feeling, yeah. that, you're, that you're on the pulse and you're totally. moving on in the, right, in the right momentum. Totally. I mean, what's to yourself as well? I mean, it's my passion. I mean, I just absolutely simply love um, creating image Im imagery. I mean, it's something that um, I, I think it's it's timeless and it, it, it stands the test of time. I think when you do something live, you know, you get the you get more of a buzz out of it instantaneously when you come off stage. But really, for me, it's about when you capture a moment or a little bit of hair floats. You know, that that capturing that, and I think it's a great way of seeing how you develop as well so if some of my very early pictures I think oh god what you know but I think you have to have that experience you can look back and you can go wow look you know and it's you know some of some of the stuff we've done you know I look back and think god you know I can't believe we did that that was that was like great and how did we do that and how did I do that you kind of forget so I think you know it does you know it doesn't get lost in time and I think like Andy said it's it's keeping yourself on the pulse and I think the minute you stop you you stop and it's about constantly coming up with new ideas because you know like Andy said you know everything's evolving S there's so much online education people giving so much more than when I was training you know um, as a hairdresser that people are, are fast learning so you have to fast learn you have to be coming up with things differently and Pushing looking into yeah. exactly so you know exactly. you 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 I guess it's about a bit of pride as well you know all hairdressers you know, they've got a bit of pride about them and they feel like, you know, yeah, I've got to, you know, got to be better than my last haircut or, you know, mm. I've got to push a bit bit further. So, yeah, I guess. I mean, to me, um, really... capturing those imagery is, stays with you, like you said, they're timeless. Mm. Um, but to capture that th those images, I would do that day in, day out anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the awards yeah. is the icing on the yeah. cake. If you win yeah. something, you win it. But yeah. if you don't, do you know what? You've got a beautiful set of pictures. Exactly. Like what you were saying there as well. I mean, you've got to motivate. I mean, you've got 90 salons, 100 salons mm. in around that, isn't it? It's like... I think... I, yeah, don't quote me. I think it's 95 now. 95 salons. I've just opened up two more this in the last two weeks. Up Dalston and Moorgate. Moorgate and Dalston. Uh, and they're opening up in key areas, you know. Key, we're getting great staff coming in with the great locations. Yeah. At the moment, it's really it, it's on a real real flow and it's flying, you know. But like we were talking earlier on, I mean, you came to work in Rush. You, you come to work in Rush. I mean, I I, I went to work in um, uh, Salon years ago, and I went there for a reason, um, like because the imagery that they were pushing out motivated me. It was like, wow, that's 
And yeah, 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 you want to be so part I mean, of it. I think it's important for salons nowadays because we're working in a visual industry. I mean, Instagram, instantaneous, mm. we take pictures and put yeah. imagery out there. I think it can create a DNA of a salon or an, an environment, type of, like um, an identity of a salon that people want to go work for. So Absolutely. I think it's very important that we keep producing and changing 100%. and evolving it um, as, as time goes by. Um, listen, we were talking business there a few moments ago. Um, Russia's just secured 16 million, not just actually, a couple of yeah. years ago, I yeah. understand. Uh, what does that, what impact does that have on your business and, and uh, to grow the business? I mean, obviously you're going to have more volume coming into the academy. Yeah. More, more, more um, well, what, I've, what I've seen, what I've seen is, a lot, you know, I've seen, I've seen a lot of these gentlemen come in, the, the investors, and they've, they've, for the greater good, they've done a fantastic job Brilliant. behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, it's not making a, fan, it's not making a massive, massive impact yeah. on a day-to-day -to, -day to the hairdressers. But I think, you know, as, as the business grows, as the business grows, it needs more organisation. Yeah. It needs more brain. It needs, mm -hmm. you know, it needs more people that know what they're doing on that level when it's it taking... We're talking about, we're going into a field now where we're going from 90 to possibly 150. Mm -hmm. It's a field we've never done before. Yeah. And I think we're, we're dealing with people that have done it before. Mm -hmm. So they're only going to help, you know? I mean, for me as well, it's a bit of a, you know, I mean, you have it down to a T, you know, because you have formulas, you have structures. Yeah, exactly. You have strategies in place, right? Which then you obviously multiply them and grow a business that yeah. way. Yeah. Totally understand that. But it is hard to keep that sort of... Yeah, 100%. You know, it's, it's so important. I mean, that's why you have the art team. Yeah. Obviously, it's important for you guys to motivate and make sure that the, the core... And the you know the the, the quality stays within yeah. themselves and keeps fundamentally growing. that's our job yeah. you know to motivate our people, mm. make sure that we look after the training aspect, make sure that we look after the standards, you know. And yes, occasionally we go we go and do shows, but that's not ultimately our job. No, nope, no. Nope. Our job is to look after the brand. Yep. You know, and sure I think that's the most important totally, thing. Yeah. You know, when and you've got one or two salons. Yeah, I mean, exactly. 19, is it the same time plate? Yeah. But, I mean, depending how, how many salons you actually yeah. have, it's important that you keep the quality. Ultimately, it's our our job to look after the brand creatively that's our job yeah. you know that comes first and foremost very good indeed um listen tell us a little bit about um like so you've got those youngsters in rush right mm -hmm. they look up to you guys yep and um, how do they <laughs> uh, how, how do they uh, get into the art team how does like somebody um in the, in the rush team now you cannot i mean yeah i mean we, it's we, in a go, yeah. i mean it's we sort of mindset what what we do which i think is really important is is to, to, obviously inspire these guys that we we run um a rush light uh, rush uh the rush factor we call it every year okay. and it's a chance really for um any young stylist to get involved with uh, a photogrammic a photographic image okay. um, and then that, they submit that into a competition mm. um a, alongside that obviously they have to be quite good in the salon they have, the figures have to be up you know they've got to be a good salon okay. stylist as well um exactly and so um with that they they do a, um, a presentation of a model um, and they actually do a, a live performance in front of us. So they do the live performance and then they submit a photo. So they pretty much have to do both of those things together. It's all about ticking and all the boxes, really. It's about ticking yeah, all the boxes. Know, and then what, 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 uh, what we offer them afterwards, if they, if they win, uh, they get a chance to enter for the British Hairdressing Awards um, as newcomer. Wow. So we've, we've had, um, you know, Couple of our guys that have We've had three it winners out of it. We had three winners three out of winners that out competition alone. So. Yeah. And then, and then if they do the if they do well in the live, which is called the Rush Factor, then they go on a two-year uh, education program to go on to the art team. Wow. Yeah. So it's like you know, and it's in depth. We do we do like 10, 11 sessions every year. Wow. You know, and it's like very, very, very intense, very in depth. They assist us and go on everything. So it's it's about it's about their development basically, yeah. and that's how they get on the art team. Really. Okay, very good. I mean, totals. I guess you know the work ethic in the salon obviously is very, very important, isn't it? Absolutely. Because you, you, um, it's very, to, to to get that opportunity to go through. Um, they have to tick all those boxes. I understand that, but I do believe it's not for everybody, right? I mean, I, I know uh, you know it's, it's some salon owners, and I'm not just talking about Russia. Yeah, I'm talking about you know, everybody. I mean, there's a lot of audiences here that um, have salons and small salons, big salons, large mm. teams, smaller teams. Um, so there's a wide diverse of uh, people watching this, um, and it's very important that we get the right mindset to enter um, like a creative environment. You've got to almost sleep, breathe it, and you know, sleep and, and live it every single day, almost. Well, to, to a certain degree, I, I, I totally understand that. Um, editorial work and getting um, photography stuff. Um, 
you have to put in extra time. You have mm. to put in all our free stuff. And we talked about this before. Mm-hmm. In how do you build? Um, how do you build a network of people within the photography, stylist, makeup I think artist? You, I, I, don't think you find, I don't think you find them. I think they find you. They I, do think, I think. I think. You know what happens there. You know, that's why we do it how we do it. We have the we have competition for everyone. Right. And I think the key to this man management, or you know, whenever you're managing a salon like what yep. you're talking about, is you know directing the right people into that. Yep. You know, the ones that want to enter this, they're going to want to do everything to they do. Are, it. Yep, very true. They're going to want to go and find their own model. Some of them are going to actually want to put their own money in and want to buy the best model that they can. They're going to and they're going to source the best photographer. They're going to get the best makeup artist, and they, like you say, going to live and breathe it. And they're the ones that are going to get through. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones that are going to get They've through. Put in and that's yeah, mate. Because whatever you yeah. put in, you're going to get back. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, every salon has different types of people. I think you know that. You'll have your money makers. You'll have your managers. You'll have totally. your creative. And you know, it's just man managers about finding out which is which, and you know, pushing their buttons the right way. Yeah, no, I totally, totally agree with that. And I mean, management—the best management is actually bringing out the best in people. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, so because we, we 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 work with loads of different types of people, but I I, I guess I was speaking more on the the creative side and wanting yeah. to get in more ed- editorial and art team. It's not for everybody because the salon as well. Yeah, hundred you know? percent. Um, but anyway, listen, I've just got to say thank you very much, guys, for having Pleasure. us here. <laughs> Um, you know, ha- having us in, in your studio, it's been amazing. Paul, thank day you so much. Um, I just want to say, um, you know, for the, for the guys that missed this class, it was so so cool. It was so relevant and so current to see such great work in, um, you know, like with the editorial that you've just done, the oh, extravagant you. editorial and the creative cutting that you've just thank done. Thank you, as Paul. Well. I mean, you show two looks within that. It's yeah, absolutely exquisite. Thank you. So and such a professional environment to work within. Um, Thank you very much. So, on behalf, on behalf, I'd like to thank Hedges in Life. Thank you. Thank Thanks for much. coming down and yeah, spending time with us. Thank you very been much. It's an absolute yeah. pleasure. Thank, thank, you. thank you, guys. Yeah. Thanks now. If you like what you've seen, leave a comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.